Hi, it's Laura the Uber Goddess, and we are making a zucchini relish today, which is one of my most favorite recipes that I do when it comes to canning. Um, the whole family loves it. It's great on burgers, it's great in deviled eggs, hot dogs, brats, it is the best. So, the first thing you're going to do is you are going to have 10 cups of zucchini that you're going to shred, like if you're making like a zucchini cake, um, kind of like that texture. Um, see what it looks like here. Um, that's 10 cups of zucchini and 4 cups of shredded onions. And what you do is you soak it overnight in 5 tablespoons of canning salt. And you don't need to add any like water to it because you know how much liquid is in zucchini and it, it ends up the, the salt brings out all the liquid and you end up with enough liquid um, for when you're soaking it. So um, the one thing that you want to do is make sure you squeeze this out. Um, you can drain this for six days and it, it would still be wet. So you need to, um, you can see how, how dry this is. I squeezed it out in a flour sack and I'll show you how to do that. Um, the other thing here, this is really a basic recipe. Um, there's just a few things in it and it's just so good. This is a spicy relish. There's banana peppers in it. Uh, hot banana peppers. But what I have in this pan is four and a half cups of sugar and two and a half cups of white vinegar. So that's your base. Um, you're going to turn the burner on and heat that up. And um, in the meantime, you're going to make like a paste. And um, this is all your spices and everything that you're going to put in your, your vinegar mixture here. Um, you're going to take a tablespoon of dry mustard and a good way to make your paste is to put a little bit of your white vinegar in a bowl. Um, it just makes it easier to, uh, to mix it up. So you are going to put a tablespoon of dry mustard and a tablespoon of cornstarch because that thickens it a little, you know, as your um, mixture cooks. And also two teaspoons of celery salt. Oh man, I know we just love eating this. I'll tell you what, if you make deviled eggs and the recipe's on youforgoddess.com, um, my deviled egg recipe is on there. It is the best deviled eggs you will ever eat, <laughs> I think. <laughs> But I think everything I make is the best thing you'll ever eat, right? <laughs> so we're going to put a half a teaspoon of turmeric. And if you, if you start canning, you'll notice that turmeric is in a lot of pickles. It's just in a lot of the recipes um, for canning. And you are going to mix this up. I need a little bit more vinegar. You don't want to put water in it. Um, just a little vinegar will do. If you tried to add this just like loose, you know, and instead of making a little uh, slurry out of it, um, you might have some lumps in there, so you don't want that. See how easy? Kind of cool, eh? So we're going to let this come to a boil. We're going to add our spices. We're going to add our hot peppers. And we'll, we'll come back after this is after this starts boiling. So our sugar and vinegar started to boil and I'm gonna put our zucchini in here. And you're just gonna stir it around. Mm. And then I'm gonna add the banana peppers. And what we have here is eight banana peppers. And actually, when I went to the fruit stand, they didn't have banana peppers. And then I went to the other grocery store and I found like five. And I have like a green um, ancho, something like that. The guy told me it was hot. So I thought, well, whatever. It'll be good. <laughs> so it seems like a lot of peppers. But with all the sugar you have in there, it, it kind of, um, you know, works together as being sweet and zesty. So we're going to mix that in and here's your paste you got made out of all your spices 
And you're just going to drizzle that on top and work it in. The dry mustard is really nice in there. It gives this relish a nice flavor. And I usually just throw some mixture in there to try to get it all out of the bowl here. So we're going to let this simmer for 30 minutes and when we come back we're going to fill the jars and um, we're going to process these for 10 minutes in our canner there. So pretty easy, hey? And oh yeah, one other thing I forgot to tell you. <laughs> you need a glass of wine while you're doing it. And by the way, this is Mackinac Trail Winery wine, cranberry, that I bought when Vic and I were there doing our little beer tasting, but I also bought some wine while we were there too, and it is yummy. That's good stuff. That's good. So look at how nice this is. It has cooked and it smells wonderful. And I'm just going to taste it just to see how spicy it is. Mmm, that's perfect. It is so good. So, you know, if you're, if you're just starting to can, I've canned my entire life. And a lot of canning is coming back. Um, younger people are doing it. Um, but what you need to do is get one of these. It really makes your life easier. You actually put it almost over the pan here. So you don't, you know, you don't make a mess. And um, I use a slotted spoon when I put this in the bottle. And all you're going to do is fill it up. And no, when you're canning, don't ever use like a butter knife um, or metal in your bottles. Um, if you want to, a lot of times I'll just poke it, you know, to get some of the air out. You just poke it with like the, the you know part of a wooden spoon here and what you want to do is every one of your bottles you want to leave about a half inch to an inch space and you're going to take your lid and you know they say put your lids in hot water and let them soak well I don't do that anymore because I just don't think you have to so the only the one main thing you want to do is make sure you don't have any of your relish on the on the lip there put your lid on and you're going to put this on as tight as you can with your hand. Not like so hard that, you know, you're going Ugh, like that. But you're just going to go like this. You're just going to go. And that's okay, it. So I, I got one more bottle here I'm filling. And um, we are going to... See, this is a half a pint. I like these little bottles, like if you give one for a gift. Or sometimes you don't want to open a real big one, you know, because you don't eat it all at one time. So um, you can put them in the littler ones and then it makes it a little bit easier. So you got your water boiling here and you're just going to put this down. And what you want to make sure is that the water is over the top of your bottles. As you can see, these are right under the water. So we're going to wait till this comes to a full rolling boil and then we're going to time it for 10 minutes. Take them out and you're done. And you can drink your wine while they're cooking, right? And when your lid starts snapping, you'll be really happy. <laughs> and this is another nice tool that, you know, I just actually have only had this for two years. You can grab your bottle with it. I always used a hot pad and I was always burning my hands. So this is also something really nice to have if you start canning. So. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Um, if you think, <laughs> well, I should say, I know that this is going to be the best relish that you have ever eaten. Well, doubt it because it is. Just ask Dino. He loves it. And he loves me too, I think, because I cook for him all the time. <laughs> Keep smiling.